Who would like to ask a, a question on any topic that the ambassador has raised? But John, and then Philomena. Perhaps identify yourselves for the ambassadors. Um, I'm John Wesley from the EU delegation, but um, I was intrigued by the, the theme, which is uh, driver for change. And one of the things that is quite interesting is that the uh, trade commissioner, Cecilia Malmstrom, has released a new trade strategy, Trade for All. And that comes at a time where uh, she's announced that the commission will seek a mandate to negotiate an FTA with both Australia and New Zealand. Um, free trade agreements in New Zealand have been greeted with at least some skepticism um, having to do with the lack of transparency around them. Is the EU a driver for change in, in this process? Certainly, trade is an area where we are particularly uh, um, well equipped, uh, as, uh, as uh, trade has been one of the first and most successful uh, policies we had in the, in the, in the EU since uh, the, the 50s. Um, certainly, Cecilia Malmstrom has, uh, has intercepted the, the idea that trade is not an, again, uh, is, uh, is an objective is an instrument. At the end of the day, trade should benefit societies, consumer, citizen, and business. That's why it's called trade, trade for all. And, uh, and there's also a question on how uh, trade should interact with the, with the climate, trade should interact with the human rights, trade should interact with, the, with our foreign partners. But we believe that trade uh, is also an instrument through which you can make your relation closer with the, with some partners. And for example, we are very, very happy that both Australia and New Zealand were part of this strategy for the European uh, Commission. There's no, there's no skepticism. I think that I've been in the AU for such a, for enough time to see that trade, uh, maybe 20 years ago, was divided between uh, pro-trade and anti-trade in Europe. There was a strange division between the, the Nordic. Uh, the south and the people in the east, the people on the west. Right now, trade in this dimension is something that will bring a, a positive change. Is widespread in Europe has been factoring in all the the, 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 the communities, and we believe the trade will bring benefits for the EU and for for those who want to trade with us. Given that the EU is standing firm in its values, and given that you have said this a number of times, so many EU leaders of different institutions have all said this as well. How do we deal with the fact that some member states have deeply transformed economically, for instance, as you said, in the case of Poland, and yet again in the case of Poland, but we could equally say in the case of Hungary and other countries, the transformative aspect of the EU when it comes to values is less evident, um, for instance, in the case of asylum seekers and refugees. How do you deal with that type of cognitive dissonance almost, where these countries are very happy to take EU money. They're very happy to have the transfer of resources you just referred to, but they're not that happy with the transfer of values. Um, so I just wanted to just throw that out there. We should look at on 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 a, on a broader broader basis and with a, with a longer uh, longer uh, perspective. When we say there is uh, um, there's common values, I, I still believe which it, this is this is true for the case of Hungary. Of, for, for, for others. In the case of migration, uh, is, a, is a debate that raising difficulties not only on the eastern board, but also in the countries of uh, founding members. So I think migration is becoming again an issue it's very, very, uh, uh, very difficult for, for all of us. Certainly we have an instrument in which, uh, for example, on, on the, the quote on the refugee, which has been in one a question of the quota of refugee means that when a, a, stir, a mixed number of, of refugee uh, can be uh, can be allocated to to individual member state according to a quota system. We can vote, so we have instrument to enforce decisions. This is part of part of democracy, and uh, I think uh, maybe we will not re need to, to to vote at the end, but we have certainly have instrument. On how the the, 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 the members should uh, should uh, uh, abide by their law. I think is this is part of uh, an internal dialectic. Otherwise, we will not living in a democratic uh, union. Uh, is part of the internal dialectic between Brussels and member states and among member states there. So I see a challenge there, but I don't see a long-standing uh, a long-standing program. Is preceding the current uh, war, for example, in Syria, 
there was a certain, uh, what would you say, the countries there like Syria, Iraq, were coming closer to Europe, closer, close time before the war was happening. Like, uh, Iraq uh, wanted to start trading uh, with Europe in Europe, and Syria, uh, Assad's regime was also approaching Europe step by step. And uh, then in a certain moment, you could, you could see that uh, the closer the, st the states got to Europe, uh, it started uh, conflicting a bit with the American uh, politics in the region. And there is, there, there is some uh, mm, contradiction between the interests of Europe in this region and the United States, which, which intervened into the regimes that behaved more and more friendly towards Europe. And uh, regarding this driver for change, and the driver for change there is America at the moment in Europe is mm, participating in the consequences also. Do you see a potential in the future for competing interests of Europe on one hand and America on the other? Uh, or, or do you see the, the, the both countries always, uh, as, or the both regions as always going in one direction? direction? Of a great, uh, uh, let's say, success, which was the beginning of 2000, uh, where we embark uh, 10 countries from uh, Eastern and Southern Europe uh, into, into Europe, uh, so the, 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 the fourth uh, enlargement. Uh, we, were, uh, we were demanded by uh, the, our neighborhood country uh, to, do, to give a similar perspective to them. In 2004, we launched the European neighborhood policies, which was uh, under the, the, maybe a quote, I mean, under the, the, something like everything but institution. I said, we, you can come closer to us, we can share with you, we will share with you uh, values, interests, uh, rules, but we cannot give you the institution, so we cannot enlarge. And this was the story of the, the, the European neighborhood policy, which has covered 16 countries from Moldova, Ukraine, till Morocco, so 16. Then uh, in, uh, in, in, the, in the southern, northern Africa, and six uh, in, in the east. And, and the, our genuine, uh, in their genuine interest was to uh, provide an area of uh, prosperity. We were hoping in an area of democracy, uh, and, and that was the genuine, the genuine word. Certainly, the uh, uh, word is is an unpredictable, uh, unpredictable uh, environment. Certainly, the, the war in uh, in Iraq is clearly uh, broke the EU in two. It's clear, no? Somebody has been uh, in favor and somebody hasn't been in favor. But there's been also a warning sign for the AU that from, the, uh, from, that, that from that lesson we have learned the importance to, to, be, to be united. And, and I think that in the, in the, in the decade after 2004, uh, Europe had never been uh, divided on, on foreign policy as it was on, on Iraq. If you look uh, uh, Iran, if you look Syria, if you look at the Middle East peace process, tensions uh, in Asia, the European position has been, has been, uh, has been very, very uh, united. So, relation with the U.S. U.S. Is, an, is, an, is a foreign actor, very important, of course, and is a, is a like-minded country. So we work with the U.S. on any, in very, very many parts of the world. Certainly on some issues we might have some, uh, some differences, um, for example, again, if you look what happened in, in Paris in these days, again, the AU and, and the US are on the same side of, of the fence. So I might say occasional nuances, but certainly uh, we are trying to work with like-minded countries. There's not very much around the world. Certainly Australia and New Zealand are, and US certainly is one of, one of the most important uh, we have.